In this video, we're going to take a look at how to organize your apps into folders. You can see here I have folders. Uh, otherwise, this would be probably six pages worth of apps. And as you get more and more apps, you're going to get more and more pages. So how do you organize them into groups? If you tap on any app and hold, they will start jiggling. This is the edit mode. So if you tap on an app and you need to move it to a different screen, if you hold it right on the edge of that screen, it'll switch to the next screen. Now you cannot move your finger over onto the black outline and border around the iPad because that's not part of the touch sensitive screen and you'll drop it just like that. You have to kind of move your finger right to the edge, almost like touching the edge of the black, but also on the screen. And that's how it will advance and go to the next page. To create a folder, you simply take one app, drop it on top of another. Depending on the category that the apps are in the app store, it will suggest a name for the folder. This says education. If you want to change it, you simply tap on the X to delete it. It brings up the keyboard and you can change it. To close that folder, just tap anywhere on the screen. Now I can continue dragging apps into it. If you need to drag an app out of a folder, you tap on it, drag it out, and it comes out of the folder. New in iOS 7 is that these folders can now have many, many, many apps in them. It used to be only up to 16 in iOS 6, but now in iOS 7 you can have several pages. So you can fit 9 on a page, and then when you put your 10th, it's going to go to a new page. But you can create a new page you don't have to wait until there are nine. If you wanted to kind of subdivide these somehow, you could. So to move an app to another page, same thing. You tap and hold, drag it to the edge of the screen, and now I've put it on the fourth page. And you can see the dots. Now I'm on page three, page two, page one. Now you can't put apps on top of each other to create folders within folders. You just have more than one page of apps in a folder. You can also rearrange them within the page, put them in whatever order that you want. You can add whatever or remove whatever from the dock that you don't want. You can have up to six on the dock, but if you have a group that you want, you can also move a group of apps that you use frequently and you can put that group down there. What you can't do is on the dock create another folder. Every time I put it on top it just moves it. If I wanted to put those two together I would have to move them out onto the home screen, create the folder, and then I can put the folder, the group, down on the dock. You'll also notice that the apps, a lot of them have the X on them. That is for deleting them. If you tap on it, it will ask if you want to delete it and all of its data. So any files that are created within that app or whatever that are stored within that app will also be deleted. And you can delete it. If you accidentally do it, then you can cancel. There are some apps, however, the ones that Apple put on there that you'll notice here they don't have the X you can't delete these so for the ones that I know I'm not going to use students aren't going to be using I've put them together here into this folder called unused and then I moved that folder notice here's my first page of apps I dragged it and created a new screen the last screen and that's the only thing that's on that screen. When you're finished doing all the editing of the apps you simply press the home button which is the circle button with the square on it and they stop jiggling. They're ready to work with.
So that's how you organize and delete apps.